Hi friends, today I am going to explain about secure hash algorithm SHA-512. Before going to explain secure hash algorithm, I am going to explain this diagram. Uh, so this uh, this diagram represent uh, the middle one the middle block represents an hashing algorithm which is SHA or MD5. So any hashing algorithm takes an uh, input a message input message which is a variable length and generate a fixed length hash value. So as uh, SHA generates a fixed length hash value, SHA 512 generates a 512 bit hash value. So we are going to see how it is going to generate a fixed length hash value in today's lecture. Uh, before going to explain about uh, secure hash algorithm, I am going to explain some history of secure hash algorithm. Uh, secure hash algorithm was developed by the National Institute of Science, uh, National Institute of uh, Standards and Technology (NIST), uh, and uh, um, SHA also developed in three versions: SHA-0, SHA-1, SHA-2, and SHA-3 is recently developing. And the main difference uh, between the before versions and the revised versions are. Uh, the message digest size means the hash size is uh, is uh, high um, is more compared to the previous versions uh, and uh, today i'm going to explain about secure hash algorithm 512 uh, which comes under to the sha2 version so without any late i'm going to explain the steps involved in the processing of sha512 so these are the uh, these are the steps so i am going to explain these steps in, in detail the first step is uh, append padding bits as sha 512 process the block of uh, block uh, block size of 1024 um, so if any uh, block is uh, block size is less than the required then we add some extra bits those are called uh, padding bits so we we add those extra bits to make it as a um, 1024 block so as uh, and this is step two which is called append length we as we don't know the message length uh, because message length is uh, uh, variable length it is not fixed so we are going to add the length of the message uh, to block it to the last block so the 128 bits are used to represent the length of the message and this is the step two and uh, step three yeah Step 3 initialize the hash buffer. Hash buffer is used to uh, store the final result and the intermediate result. So, the uh, as I said, hash algorithm uh, going to generate a fixed uh, hash value. So, the hash value is uh, stored, in, uh, stored in this hash buffer only. But uh, initially, we should uh, initialize this hash buffer with uh, fixed values. Uh, fixed values so those values are initialized uh, in uh, uh, those values are initialized and those 512 bit uh, buffer is divided into 8 64 bit uh, registers so those re 8 registers are named a b c d e f g h uh, and uh, this is the step 3 and step 4 uh, step 4 um, i will show one diagram to make it easy uh, if you see, we added uh, some padded bits to make it uh, one zero um, to make it uh, a required block, and we added length of the message. So this is the total message now. So the step four, which says divide the message into equal blocks of size one zero two four. So we divide this total x into one zero two four one zero two four equal blocks. So as you see, these are the one zero two four uh, divided blocks. Of entire message so this is step 4 now each block is processed so we will see the processing stage so if you see the processing stage where each uh, block is the message schedule represents the 1024 block so this is giving input to the all the rounds so secure hash algorithm SHA-512 contains 80 rounds so it takes the every round logic takes an input word W and a constant K this word is derived from the 1024 block so i will see how these uh, words are derived from the 1024 block and uh, there are 80 words in every uh, at every processing state um, for every round we are giving one one uh, word so there are 80 words present and not only word and constant but we are giving another important uh, input to the every round logic is called hash buffer in step 3 we are initialized the hash buffer and that is given input to the first round logic 
so after applying the computation present in this round logic we are going to get some result and those result is also stored stored in that eight registers and those output is given input to the next round and uh, vice versa so after all computation of all rounds the final result obtained from the round 79 is added with the initial hash buffer and is going to generate the fixed hash value so this is the processing state and we are going to see how the uh, round logics are going to happen as i said the round logic requires the word one of the inputs of the round logic are word and uh, uh, and constant k and the hash buffer so these these round logics looks may look like complex but uh, uh, the operations performed in on this round logic are very simple if you see uh, one addition operation is only applied in uh, if you see there is only one addition operation uh, so that's why i said it is very simple but there are two unknown functions applied on this register and i am going to make uncover the functions uh, so if you see the meag function it requires uh, uh, um, three parameters so those parameters a b c and the logic applied uh, the logic applied um, is this thing and uh, if you see the ch function it also requires three parameters and the logic applied is this um, the computation logic is done is uh, written here and uh, if you see after making all this computation uh, the um, there, there will be new values to the all the register and those new values are uh, like this if these are the abc new uh, outcomes so the the new outcomes uh, results are written here if you see uh, the new b value is previous a value so that is very clear so the previous a value is now b value previous b value is c value likewise some computations are done to generate new a value and generate new e value so those gen um, computation are also written here and don't worry i will present these notes at the description section if you want to um, if you want that notes so take make it useful so as i mentioned you that uh, uh, every <clears throat> um, as I mentioned before, so every word is derived from the message block here. So I am going to explain how those uh, words are derived. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see, this is the initial 1024 block. So there are 80 words. So these 80 words are derived using these functions the main formula for deriving is this thing wt and here we if you see there are two unknown functions here uh, these unknown functions are also uh, made it clear here this is the function uh, this rotr represent rotate right at one time and this rotate right uh, power 8 represents there is going we are going to apply rotate right operation eight times so if you see here the rotate uh, right operation is applied 61 times so this is the complexity uh, present in the processing standard in secure hash algorithm 512 uh, i think you all understand this uh, uh, secure hash algorithm and thank you for watching this algorithm if you um, <clears throat> if you like this video please hit a like uh, if you have any queries feel free to comment in the comment section if you want to learn uh, if you want your friend if you want to help your friends uh, to learn the secure hash algorithm very fast and very quickly so suggest this video to your friends so share this video and thank you for today